Hey friends, I wanted to hop on and share with you about the Young Living Black Friday promos and why I am so in love with them. Um, I didn't find out until everyone else did last night at about 1 a.m. my time what the promos were gonna be and I was so excited because this is such a huge opportunity for everybody who is not already a member of Young Living. And this is why. First of all, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story. Five years ago, I was desperately trying to figure out a way to take control of my family's wellness. And I thought that that was in the form of having tools to, hey Amy, to um, deal with um, illnesses and symptoms that came up. But now looking back, I actually realized that the changes that we made in this, in, with these particular products made such a huge impact on our wellness. So when I was looking for um, solutions, I didn't know what I was going to do because I don't have a background in healthcare and I thought that that is what I would have needed to do what I wanted to accomplish. So... Um, I had a friend come to visit and I told her about how I was so panicked and what was I going to do and she said to me, why don't you try the oils? And I thought she was crazy. I didn't know anything about a natural lifestyle or wellness. That's not something that I, a lifestyle I had lived or was even familiar with. And I thought it sounded really crazy, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. But for a couple of months, it rolled around in my head and it just felt like something I needed to try. When I ordered my first set, I felt kind of sick to my stomach because I thought, what did I just do? This is not even reasonable. But the very first day that it got here, we had a total epiphany and I saw how powerful and how much of an impact these products had. Um, I have to be careful because there's a lot of things that we are not allowed to say um, because of Health Canada and regulations. So if you're wondering why I'm being a little elusive, that's why. I'm not trying to, you know, these aren't selling techniques or anything like that. This is me not wanting to get myself in trouble uh, or the company. So we had huge epiphanies with the products and I fell in love instantly. And what happens when you fall in love with something, you can't stop talking about it, or I can't. If I find a new pair of boots, or I go to a movie that I love, or a new restaurant or anything, I tell everybody about it because I'm so excited about it. Well, this was no different. When I bought my set, I told my enroller, Michelle, that I wanted no part of this business. I would not be selling, and I told her not to even bring it up. I was so adamant. I didn't want any part of this network marketing sham that, that people had going on. I just wanted my oils and I wanted to never hear from them again. Well, I felt so in love that I couldn't stop talking about it and people started asking me questions. And I immediately saw that somebody was gonna be benefiting from that financially and I thought, well, geez, I love it so much, it might as well be me. And I didn't really think it would go anywhere, but obviously it has. And I'm so glad that it did. But that's a, a story for another day. So soon after we got these oils and I fell in love with them, I started switching out some of our other products. And that is because I am a germaphobe. I want all the germs gone. And I'm also an obsessive hand washer, probably because I'm a germaphobe. I have for, I've always have been. So I... Because of these things, I, on purpose, used to only buy products that said antibacterial or triclosan on them because I thought that's what I needed to be able to kill all those germs that I wanted gone and to take care of my family and keep us well. Well, without making you roll your eyes or thinking I'm being dramatic or anything like that, those are some of the most toxic and harmful words that you could find on a product. They are so dangerous to your body 
and can do so much awful things. If you want to find out for yourself, you can go to the Environmental Working Group website, ewg.org, and you'll find all kinds of, of helpful information. Now, my, my mind was being awakened to all of this um, natural lifestyle at that time, and I wanted to learn more. But as I always tell people, this is, the learning curve is a 90 degree learning curve. It's not like a gradual thing, it's a lot. And I'm so thankful for the people who went before me and the people who learn this and graciously share all they learned because it saved me from what I think would have needed to be a PhD in chemistry to figure it out on my own. So I learned eagerly from the people who were figuring this out and sharing. And I started doing a lot of my own reading too. And what I discovered is those products that we were using were incredibly toxic. And what I believe now is, ugh, I don't know why I'm getting a lump in my throat, but anyways, um, what I now know is, oh my goodness, I cry at the silliest times. What I now know is these products that I was obsessively buying and exposing my family to is what was causing all the problems. Oh my goodness, okay. Whew. So, as we started switching these things out, looking, at, I always used to think for the longest time that the oils are what made the huge impact in our life. But I now know that the oils helped us. Oh my goodness. Okay. I just swipe the comments off. You guys can keep commenting and I'm gonna read and respond to them. But you're right, Amy, the mom guilt. Okay, just a second, I'm gonna get some oils. Okay, um, the oils helped us get through the problems while I switched out and got rid of all of the junk out of our house. So I started switching out the cleaner and the hand soap. That's where I started first. And I want to show you what my house looks like today. So I got rid of all the toxins that were bombarding our bodies and accumulating. And, you know, our bodies, what happens is you absorb everything that you breathe in, that you're, comes in contact with your skin, and that you ingest. And that stays in your body and it creates what's called body burden I'm by the window so it's kind of the light is kind of affecting here so it creates body burden and that creates a whole world of problems in your body that you know you start to have issues like maybe hormone situations or maybe your immune system can't fight off things properly or maybe your body's just working so hard to get rid of all the junk that you're exposing it to that it can't deal with all of the normal stuff that you come in contact with that your body should be able to process you know without a without a big deal okay so as I was switching out all of these harmful products that I was exposing us to, we were starting to have less issues. The issues that were what brought me to this journey to start with. So now that I look back, I know now that the products that I switched out and creating a toxin-free home were the complete game changer. 100%. The oils, I, we still use them every day in our house, and I would not, oh my word. My son even says, Mommy, what would we do without the oils? We'd probably have to use all that junky stuff from the store. Out of the mouths of babes, people. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what my toxin-free home looks like. Oh, one more thing. If you want to see the products that you are using and how toxic they are without having to get have your own PhD in chemistry. You can download an app called Think Dirty and you can search, in Canada we have to search, we can't use the barcode because those are US barcodes, but we can search for the products that you use. You can look up your mascara and your baby wash and your household cleaners and your dish soap and all the stuff and it will give you a rating of zero to 10. And it will, 
Um, zero is clean and 10 is horribly toxic. And what I did when I found this app, because I had already switched out most of our products, is you can search the products and you can save them to what is called your bathroom shelf and it will give you an average rating. So I went through and I searched for all of the products that I used to buy religiously and I saved them all there. I found as much as I could, like our cleaning products, our laundry products, my makeup, shower gel, lotions, baby wash, everything. And I will tell you, because a lot of people who meet me now think that I'm just some kind of granola crunchy person and probably always have been this way. It's not true. Rewind five or six years ago, the average rating of the products that I was using was an eight. So like two away from the most awful products, carcinogens, hormone disrupting, immune disrupting, um, makes it difficult for you to breathe, all of that stuff. I was using it because I thought those were the best products that I could buy. And what I also believed is that there would not be a product in a store that I could buy that wasn't safe. I believed that companies would not put toxic products, toxic ingredients in a product because it would be bad for business if people were being harmed. And I also believed that every product on the market was monitored and tested by the government before it was approved for being purchased. Well, I am here to tell you that that's not true. And that's not some kind of conspiracy theory. It's just plain old not true. So I'm sorry if you believe that. I would 100% believe that in the past and I would have probably argued with people about it and laughed at them, but it's sadly not true. So you have to be the gatekeeper of your own house and you have to be the one that is learning at least a little bit in baby steps what to get out of your house and what to stop exposing yourself and your family to. So I'm gonna show you what my toxin-free house looks like. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, so we are here at my kitchen sink, which is usually overflowing with dishes. Not gonna lie. This is my Thieves Swimming hand soap. I've had this bottle for five years now, and what I do is when it gets empty, I fill it with the refill, which I'll show you here in a minute. So you, you know, people who love to recycle, this is highly effective in that area too because these bottles, you don't have to buy new bottles every month at the grocery store. You can use this bottle month after month or year after year after year, in, as is in my case. Now this foaming hand soap, as I mentioned before, I'm an obsessive hand washer. It doesn't dry out my hands, it's highly effective at cleaning them, and it gets rid of all the stuff that I don't want on my hands. Now, I left my spray bottle in the bathroom, but this is the Thieves Household Cleaner. Everybody that I know that has tried it has absolutely fallen in love, and that's not some kind of sales talk there. That's absolutely true. It's the most effective cleaner I have ever used in my life. I, I live on a farm, and we have well water, and it has all kinds of minerals in it that get in my shower and stuff like that. And before Young Living, I used to buy toxic, toxic cleaners that I used to use a gas mask when I would use them to clean because it would take my breath away. Now to replace that, I use this with some baking soda and it's actually easier and more effective. It's incredible. So this is a concentrate right here and it will do 28 bottles this size of cleaner. It works out to less than $2 a bottle of cleaner. And that is the only thing that I use to clean my house now. I use it on my floors with my spray mop. I just take my spray bottle and spritz as I go. I use it on my counters to clean my toilets, my bathrooms. If I have a pot that needs some extra scrubbing, I, I squirt a little bit of the concentrate in. And I'll tell you that I leave this little seal on the top and I poke a hole in that thing right there, the hole that isn't a hole right there. And I use that to squirt. Like in my toilet bowls, I just take that like toilet bowl cleaner and I squirt it onto the rim and leave it for a minute and I just scrub my toilet. This is another spray bottle that I use of cleaner. I usually have a couple on the go, but typically what I do, and I, I offer this for members, oh, we've got the light behind us here, is I will just put a sprayer on this bottle here and it's an awesome cleaner bottle. I also have my dish soap. This is highly concentrated, all of the Young Living 
products are highly concentrated. So what I do when I get this is I dilute it and I make it into three bottles this big because you don't need much. Now we put right on our bottles, we put what we don't have in there, all these toxic things that you don't want in it. SLS and SLES, that's what makes bubbles. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you don't need bubbles to clean stuff. Um, I have, you know, there's a TV commercial with dish soap where the grease like scatters when you pour it in. I have had the same result with this cleaner or with this um, dish soap, I mean. It doesn't have synthetic perfumes, which is one of the most dangerous ingredients that you could have in something, your laundry products, anything. Synthetic fragrances are probably the, the worst. Formaldehyde, phosphates, none of that. It doesn't have any of that in here. So you can make your kids do the dishes and not worry about whether it's harming them. This is a product that uh, I can't live without either. The Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soap. You'll notice that all of these products say thieves on them because they're infused with our Thieves blend. So this is something that I, this container lasts me about six months or so. It's a concentrate as well. I will put my produce in a bowl or you could use your sink and I squirt some in there, fill it up with water, leave it for a few minutes, give it a swirl, and then rinse it off. Now, if even if you're buying organic fruits and vegetables, my husband said, why do we need to wash them if we're buying organic? Well, sometimes there's stuff left on even the organic fruits and vegetables. Like maybe there's parasites that you don't want on there. Or maybe somebody was at the grocery store who didn't wash their hands after they went to the bathroom and they picked up that apple and then put it back and now you're taking it home to buy it. There could be like traces of feces or like all kinds of things on there that you just wanna clean. So clean your fruits and veggies, people, especially if you're not buying organic. Okay, now just to show you, that I'm not pulling one over your eyes. This is under my sink. This is, this is what it looks like. What I've got here is I've got some dishwasher tabs from the store because I haven't, with our well water, I haven't found a version that works with my dishwasher and I'm on the quest to find that stuff. Um, I've got baking soda in a, <laughs> the most gigantic box you can find. I use it for all kinds of things. And I've got citric acid. I put some of that in our dishwasher and I've got extra empty dish soap bottles because as I said I dilute it and here is the thieves foaming hand soap refill so I buy one of these every few months and then I use it to fill up all the soap the foaming hand soap bottles at all the sinks in my house because there's one at every sink and then I have some empty um, cleaner bottles that I use to hand out to people too so if you would like one of those let me know Okay, so now I'm gonna take you to one of the bathrooms. All we have here is a Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. No scented sprayers or anything like that. And I'm gonna take you to my laundry room. Laundry products are one of the most toxic things in your home, ladies and gentlemen. It's because of the fragrance and what we don't think about and I never used to think about is, you know, we want our laundry smelling good, but when we have those toxic smells in our laundry products and we wash it and then it's on our clothes and it's on our skin all day, we're absorbing it, we're breathing it in and it's terrible. I actually had a member tell me that their child woke up in respiratory distress um, after they changed their laundry product and it was highly scented and they got rid of that and they had no more issues. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now what is in my laundry room. So I've got this little basket here and yes, it has three bottles of this laundry soap because if you guessed it, it's concentrated and I dilute it. I'm just gonna turn so the sun isn't washing it out again. This laundry soap, as you can see here, is HE washer safe and will do 64 loads of laundry from this bottle right here, or 32 loads in a regular washer. Once again, right on the label, we have here all of the things that are not in it because these are things that you don't want. And we are not a company that hides anything. So this laundry soap is amazing. It is, it's fragrance sensitive people safe. 
Um, I don't think that it really leaves a fragrance at all, but it is super powerful. It has enzymes in it. I swear to God, it eats the stains from my kids' clothes. When we do have stains, I use the Thief Spray, which I don't have in here. Okay, then in our dryer, uh, dryer sheets are not an option in my house. We have dryer balls and my lovely friend, Lizanne, made me this dryer ball. She made me three and I only know where one is currently. I feel like my kids are playing with the other two. Now, what I used to do is I used to use oils like Purification on my dryer balls in my dryer, but I noticed that it wasn't always the most effective but I was recently at a team learning event in Saskatoon and Megan, who I think is watching, um, and her sisters did a presentation where they told us about putting the oils in the washer. And I came home and tried that. See, after five years, I am still learning things all the time, new ways and better ways to do it. So what I do now is I will put a couple of drops of whatever oil on the things in the washer. Like say if I was doing um, bedding, I would probably put lavender. Um, I use purification a lot for stinky things because I have kids and we have play sports and things like that. So I'll just put like a couple of drops of purification on a sock or something. And I put my laundry soap in. And then we have fresh smelling laundry and I can scent it with any of my essential oils. So if I wanna use say Northern Lights Black Spruce or I wanna use a citrus oil or anything, I can you know, scent my laundry that way and I'm not creating any type of respiratory issues for my family. I'm not putting anything on our clothes that's going to absorb and you know, add up in our body and cause hormone disruption and immune disruption and all kinds of things. So these are the things in my home. Oh, one more. We also have our diffuser with the thieves, especially this time of year. So this thing is always going. Um, I had it on this morning and it obviously ran out. But this is how we have created a toxin-free home. And this is how we have created better wellness for our family and how we have taken back control. And you can see I've got some mascara <laughs> here from when my eyes were having leaky eye syndrome earlier. So I just wanted to share that with you. Young Living is having an incredible 20% off sale this weekend on all of our Thieves products. We have an amazing starter kit where you can get all of the products and get your home toxin-free all at once. That is 10% off, so instead of $199, and it's an incredible deal at that price, you can get that for $179 this weekend, or you can buy the individual products. So I implore you to start learning about the products you're using in your home. It's a big journey, but you really need to do it for your health and that of your families. So thank you for joining me today. Please do ask any questions. And if you haven't already started your journey with Young Living Essential Oils, I would love to be the person that takes you there. Um, I love sharing with my team like this. I do a lot more videos for my team and my group. And I love teaching and sharing because I believe that I have this knowledge and I feel like it's my duty to pass it on. So thank you so much for joining me and listening. And for everybody who's watching the replay, I would love it if you would comment and just let me know that you were here and let me know if there's any questions that I can answer or to help you get your family on that, that wellness journey in a natural way also. So thank you everyone for joining me. I love you all.